Padres are hosting the Nationals and remembering the late, great Tony Gwynn, who would have turned 58 on Wednesday. We'll pick things up in the fourth inning with rookie Joey Lucchese appealing to Anthony Rendon. This is driven out to deep left center field, and when it comes down, the Nationals have got a lead into the bullpen. Liner into the left field for Margot. Coming around from second is A.J. Ellis. Throw will go to second. It's an RBI double, and the Padres have tied the score one to one. Two down, Weeders at third base, and here is Matt Adams. Pinch hitting for the pitcher, Gio Gonzalez. They get 308 this year, 10 homers, 24 runs batted in. It's 30 of relief coming up here for Stanton. These have been taxing pitches. Came in with two on, nobody out in the sixth. Broken bat, soft liner that is caught at third by being the wave on the backhand. Stammen pitches his way out of trouble in the seventh inning. He was the only Padre to come off the bench last night. He hit that screamer in the ninth inning that was caught. Takes a strike, Margo run. Pitch goes into center field. Manuel steals second, goes to third on the air. And a potential go-ahead run 90 feet away with nobody out. Drives one to deep left field. Back goes Kendrick onto the track. Won't catch it and one hops the wall. In from third comes Margot. Padres take the lead and an RBI double by Matt Caesar. It's 2-1 San Diego. Well, with the count full, let's peek in and see what A.J. Ellis puts down. Slider, very confident with that pitch. Drops in for strike three. Readers knew it, takes with him. He struck him out, and the Padres win. Two to one, Padres is your final as the Friars avoid the series sweep. Craig Stammen picks up the victory in relief against his former club. Joey Lucchese pitches well in a no decision. He allows one run over five plus with six Ks, and Bryce Harper gets the night off Wednesday. He's 0 for his last 19.